things I, I, I would like to do, um, and as soon as I complete, you know, receive my license, and then I'm hoping that maybe we can come back and we can talk about the comp- the brokerage that I'm with, is, sure. is to let them know that to just don't, uh, just don't put themselves, pitch and uh, hold themselves just in real estate yeah. to see the whole continuum. Yeah. And that means that they need to get some information on the whole mortgage loan inside of it because we're real estate we're just looking at the laws as far as you know for and it was all always about the customer always about the buyer and the seller we're on the mortgage loan side we really you need to know about the federal laws and regulations so reg you know reg z and reg x yes they're there but the biggest thing was the whole thing with the dodd frank but what happened in 2008 that prompted all this so, you know, it wasn't, they didn't have licenses, you know, mortgage loan originators or what they called mortgage loan officers then didn't have a license because they were under the charter of those banks. Well, now we, so the license came out after the 2008 with the, you know, with the whole craziness, um, Countrywide being one of the biggest offenders during that time of mortgage lenders. So now you have all these folks now they have to get the license. And um, I think, and, and the biggest thing was knowing the laws and knowing those regulations. So I think it's important for the, the real estate agents, not so much to know the law, but to understand the process for folks so that they could begin the conversation. Because I know when I took my class for the real estate license, the instructor was always cautioning us to not virtue into the loan side. And I, I, I disagree with that. I think it's important for real estate agents to understand, to communicate that information to their buyers, that these are the things that you need to be asked and to be cognizant about when you're looking for a purchase and not to say to them, well, that's something you have to have a conversation with your loan officer about because the loan officer may or may not give them all, may not always be acting in their best interest. I feel as real estate agents, we are always acting in our client's best interest. Whereas the mortgage loan officer, probably not because (laughs) we don't have that same type of relationship. We're just taking the application, but we're not having, not always that face-to-face. We, you can, but it's not always necessary. But when you're a buyer's agent, you're with them a lot until you find that house and the offers accept it. Whereas the mortgage loan, no, even though they don't get compensated until after the closing, they're not having those conversations with the with the actual applicant. So I think it that's where the I would like to come back and have that conversation on why it's so important that we beat that that hybrid is I think it's going to be part of the future because I think it has to be. Because quite frankly, I'm, I don't know, I had this feeling that perhaps it's going to be emerging. And when I say emerging, there's, I think you're always going to be a need for a real estate agent. I don't know if there's always going to be a need for the mortgage loan originator. Because if the real estate agent already has the client and they can provide them any information, maybe I don't need two people. That's what I'm saying. Right. And that's why I think the the hybrid agent to me just makes sense because, but then, you know, then we have to talk about with the whole thing with the regulations with RESPA, right. how does that work? And I, I, that I, you know, that those are policy issues. So, <laughs> you know, we, we, that might have to be another conversation, but I could, I could see that. And I think the fact that you have so many large banks right now that are closing their department, I think, you know, there's going to have to be a conversation about that because a lot of these folks who have left, you know, didn't actually, don't actually have their license. So they're not, they're going to have a hard time going to a brokerage firm. Right. That's the only problem. Yeah.